Hi, Lowell Richardson, Catalina Direct Tech Support. I want to take a few minutes to share with you a product that we uh, discovered at a trade show recently. It's a new product by uh, Force Bar. It's called Merlube. Uh, the manufacturer's rep that was working the show had a great little demo that he could uh, show us one valve with and one without the Merlube so we could really feel how much different it, ma uh, it makes with the application of a good lubricant on the valves. But unfortunately, you can't feel that. So we wanted to set up a little demo here that we could illustrate it on a video so you can see how much difference it makes. Uh, recently the project took on a little more urgency after I had spoken with one of our customers on the tech support line uh, who told me about an incident that happened on his boat. He was trying to close the raw water valve for the engine and because the valve was so stiff and he didn't understand that the valve should be lubricated the shaft on the valve broke in the middle of the body of the valve and the handle came off in his hand. So as a result, he suffered the expense of an unnecessary, uh, other than that, unnecessary haul out uh, in order to just replace this valve. So we set up a little demo here that I'd like to share with you and you can see uh, just how much difference a good lubricant makes. As you can see, we've mounted a couple of ball valves on a big sheet of plywood. I, I talked with my friend Rodney who is both a sailor and a fisherman and asked him to bring by some of his uh, big fishing weights that he uses when he goes ocean fishing. So these guys, the smaller ones, are a, a half a pound a piece and I'm just going to drop these on here to give you an idea of the difference that it makes when a valve is properly lubricated. So with one pound that valve moves. Now we can keep going We've got a half a pound, pound and a half, two pounds. Okay, so we've got two and a half. That's all the small weights he had, so we've got a, some bigger weights. Pound and a half. So we're at two and a half, four pounds, another two and a half, no, I'm sorry, one and a half a piece. So we're at what, four, so five and a half. And then finally the valve starts to move. So look at the difference in the amount of uh, friction there is between a, a lubricated and an unlubricated valve. And if you leave them that way, eventually you're going to have uh, suffer the same fate that our customer did that had that uh, shaft shear off it within the valve. So a little lubrication goes a long way. We carry the product in several different packages. Uh, here's the normal uh, four ounce size. It's a white gel. Let me show you a little better what it looks like. <clears throat> Very sticky. It'll, it'll stay on whatever you put it on really well. It also comes in a liquid which is designed, for example, at a haul out. You can pour it in your sink, uh, rotate the valve a couple of times to work it into the ball, and, and call it good. Now you want to have somebody catching the excess on the outside of the hull. You don't want to do it in the water. It's non-toxic but it's probably not so good to be dumping it in the water. Now that also comes in a little syringe that uh, I carry in my, my toolkit on the boat. This is excellent for use uh, where you're putting a stainless steel fastener into aluminum to, collect, to prevent electrolysis. Uh, and make it so that you can get that fastener out again in the future. So we carry it in all three forms. We offer these and thousands more parts for Catalina owners on our website at CatalinaDirect.com. Thanks for watching.